This man is Charlie. If you have beef with him, I personally believe you are evil. Two, Sneeko, we all know Sneeko from the Red Pill Manosphere, right? We all get it, okay? Um, but to me, this is bugging, and I, I need to know more information before I judge anything, right? So let's get into it. By the way, hey, you two. Let's get into Does it. Does outfit look familiar? This is the same thing I wore last time I took you over my knee and spanked your bottom with some discipline. <laughs> hey, I'm happy to report Hold on. Hold on. Last time I took Hold you on. Over my hey, hey, Sneeko. Does this outfit look familiar? This is the same thing I wore last time I took you over my knee and spanked your bottom with some discipline. And I'm happy to report that these Hilarious. are back in stock and a lot more at moistglobal.com. Last time I talked about you, I used you for a merchandise push as well, so might as well I stick with tradition. Up. I bet just seeing me in this attire again has just sent you on a full-blown winter soldier episode with your eyes rolling into the back of your skull as you're experiencing post-traumatic stress disorder because the first video I made on you offended you to such a high degree that you have not stopped whining since. It's already it's been three bad. months. Can you believe that? How time flies. You started shit with me by insulting me and my girlfriend out of nowhere, so naturally I responded by making fun of you in return and showcasing the reasons why I don't respect you. But unfortunately, I failed to calculate just how much of a sensitive fucking loser you are because this hurt your feelings to such a high degree it's become like an Armageddon in your brain. Three months you have continued to go. melt down about this. The day after I posted my response, you went on stream and had a huge unhinged melt to such a high now we remember John Moran's situation, right? Okay, proceed. I'd agree. It's become like an Armageddon in your brain. Three months you have continued to melt down about this. The day after I posted my response, he went on stream and had a huge unhinged tantrum and meltdown about the whole thing. And then he sent some of his viewers over. So I was this joking with them, saying like, "Oh, you guys must have just this stopped goofy. the Cuties watch party over there, this, Nico stream, right? Welcome, Cox, that kind of shit." And it got really under his skin in a big way, so he started dancing around with a gun and threatening to come shoot me. So he kept saying, oh, you're started dance." Terrible trigger discipline. Terrible. Dancing around with a gun and threatening to come shoot me. That bitch is on so safety. So he kept saying, oh, you're in Tampa, right? I'll come see you. Waving his gun around and dancing. You wanna watch my clips? Watch my clips. Watch my clips. You wanna wa oh, you want me to watch your clips? Watch my clips. <laughs> you ain't about that smoke. These are the only clips I'm watching, you are? Now the reason you he ain't about saying that smoke, watch though. my clips while threatening me here is because during the stream I couldn't watch him live because he just kept shouting <clears> slurs. <throat> so I said watch my clips to see what I was saying about you. I had to communicate via Twitch clips. And I'm sorry to be that guy, this is like the grammar police of guns, but he's a fucking imbecile. You absolute buffoon. What you have there is not <laughs> clips. These are mags. They're mags, not clips, you absolute fucking dummy. The same way that this is also <laughs> a mag. They're all mags. Stop saying clips, you look fucking stupid here. Anyway, sorry for the gun anatomy lesson. He was very- You gotta upset, love so Charlie, threatening bro. to come shoot me, beat me up, all of that, because I hurt his feelings, and it's been festering for quite some time now. Three fucking months. You love to bitch about how everyone's canceling you. These soy boy NPC bots are all canceling you. It's all you do. You treat the teenagers in your Discord like they're your goddamn therapist. Just going in there to That's complain crazy. about the invisible boogeyman canceling you again, shaking your fist at the clouds. I also love that you treat this Discord server like it's your PR team, so you have them work on your responses on Twitter because you're not witty enough to come up with anything on your own. You have no ability to banter. You can't insult anyone. Anytime you're pushed, all you fall back on is one of three things. Soy boy, bot, or NPC. And that's it. You never deviate from this path. Which is ironic, because you're like literally a sheep. You have three programmed responses. You're like the absolute worst character, side character in an MMO. It's pathetic. But I'm getting sidetracked. You love to be super public about how much you hate antidepressants and you shit on anyone who takes antidepressants. But with the way you talk in your Discord server, I'm pretty convinced that you're only two or three messages away from asking your community to source antidepressants for you under the table to help with all this mental anguish you're going through. And I think that honestly be a good idea. It might help you. But I'm, 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 I'm putting the part before the horse here. How did Black I, to this point? I wasn't ready for well, that. He shot, that video shot, shot fire. And I fully planned on that being the only time I ever talked about this asshole. I really did. All I wanted to do was highlight why I personally don't respect him. I know a lot of people criticize me for not tackling his points. And to that I say, bah humbug, this fucking goober didn't make any points. All he did was insult me and my girlfriend. 
He insulted me and my girlfriend because I made fun of one of his friend's blatantly fake stories. He resorted to childish name calling like, I'm ugly and I don't go outside. That's not making any points. Like, what am I supposed to debunk, debunk there? No. Now, Charlie, we know you don't go outside. All right. No, we know you got a social life, but you got you do need some more sun. Okay, you do need some more sun. All right, and I say that with love. So actually, my mom thinks I'm handsome, and, and so does my girlfriend. So you're wrong. <laughs> you wrong. are handsome, it's Charlie. Debunk, he's a handsome the man. The point of the video was highlighting why Just I don't respect him. Short. I'll go ahead it's and small, but he's handsome. Give you a previously on Dragon Ball Z lore recap to bring you up to Rich speed. Rich as hell. So the points I was making for why I think he is a pathetic piece of shit, and his opinion holds no value in my eyes is because he publicly defends Cuties as one of his favorite movies. So Cuties weird. was a Netflix film that used real child actresses in sexual situations. So they sexualized real children. A fact that Sneeko himself acknowledges, but writes off as being okay because it's realistic, because in the real world, children get sexualized. I'll say it again. Regardless of what the intention of the film was, they missed the mark because what ended up happening is they sexualized the child actresses. That is a problem. Full stop. Even if the message was supposed to be the opposite, they still ended up contributing to the very problem they were speaking out against. I was about to smile right there because how bad he's shitting on Sneeko. It's a pretty good movie. It wasn't a good time to smile though. Like everybody else, I, I saw the cover and it was I got clickbaited. So did you. You got clickbaited. The thing about Cuties is it's not an unrealistic Excuse film. Me? Like yes, it shows children in a sexual way, but this is not unusual now. And the people who are really mad about this aren't Gen Z. Imagine claiming children in sexual positions is clickbait. Yikes. That's Snitching right. on yourself. You admit that the children were sexualized. That is you bad. You admit that you wanted okay. to see that. It means the movie failed in its mission. I don't know what you don't get about that. But regardless, I'm not here to just That's keep disturbing. hammering home the same points. That's disturbing. Uh, another thing that I talked about for a reason I don't respect Excuse him me. is because he battles with his own sexuality. He is very bisexual about how he used to go to these swinger parties yeah. I think he says four in total over the course of like two weeks where he watched his girlfriend get fucked by other men even telling the story of how he was literally in the bed watching his girl get fucked by a different man moaning intensely and it it was traumatizing yet he recommends that everyone should try it at some point for some reason because this was imagine see, imagine seeing the girl you love like get fucked get fucked you love her yeah, I do. I love it. Yeah, I love her. I was about to say I love this bitch. I'm not going to say that. I love my... I Nor can I look at another penis in the bedroom. And you allow the love of your life we to get, get fucked get... by another man. What happened to the other yeah, dude? Why, is why, why is that I'm crazy. The first time, as soon as I saw it, like... Hey, <laughs> wait, hold up. Side note. Shout out to Agent and Low. I... I'm saying I just got up and walked. Peer to peer podcast. Bring that shit back. Like, feeling traumatic thoughts. Like seeing her with another person it's a lot it's a lot to, I th but i think it's something everybody should do just to test no! I, no. you know what so my point with this was why is this the guy that's lecturing everyone on their relationships shitting on people's relationships when he himself is in one that makes him very upset and he can't come to terms with it now if he's open about well, being a cuck and happy and proud to be a cuck that's, that's what fine, i was gonna say but he's not it makes him mad every single time that's just beta so, why the fuck is this insecure guy the one that's the moral authority on healthy relationships all of a sudden? That was the point of me bringing Andrew up Tate. that clip. Now, that's that was basically the whole video. I summed it up real that's pretty quick. much about it. All I pointed out is I don't respect his opinion because he defends a movie I consider to be child porn. I think any film or any production that has real children being sexualized should be classified as child porn. That's I how agree. I view it. Maybe your definition is different, but that's how I personally I view that kind of content. So him defending that was beyond reprehensible to me. And him being very public with his cuckoldry Sorry. and how uh, scarring it has been, it should be a lesson, an example that he himself is not great when it comes to relationships and all these things. And I posted that and it made him extremely upset and he hasn't stopped fucking crying about it for three months. So fast forward to time. two days ago. 90 I days. was streaming a moist esports tournament mm. and I went up to go to the bathroom. I had to take a shit. It was a double flusher. So I was on the toilet for quite some time and I saw a Sneeko post that he's posted quite a few times now and I thought, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not doing anything else right now on the porcelain throne. I'll play in the pig pen. So I did. For three months now, Sneeko has had this adorable little collage that he made that looks like it's straight out of a 16-year-old girl's diary with pictures of boys from her <laughs> class that she doesn't like. 
uh, all about people that have hurt his feelings. This is his wall of shame Hassan. for people that have insulted him online. What's even sadder about it is he purposely leaves Hassanale. out people that he's afraid of. So Turkey Tom, for example, made a whole video talking about Sneeko and how pathetic he is. Damn, and Sneeko tried to talk a big game to him, even challenged him to a debate, which Turkey Tom accepted with jubilation. He was ecstatic. And then Sneeko kept ducking him, ghosting him. So he leaves of course, Turkey Tom right. off of this list because he's afraid to actually talk to him. And he also leaves off quite a few other people, but the most notable other one that is comical for the absence is Brandon Buckingham. Brandon Buckingham is an internet content creator that Sneeko lied about for a long time, and they had a lot of beef. And Brandon Buckingham actually challenged him to a fight. And Sneeko is very fearful of him. We'll get into that in... We'll get into that more in depth in a moment, but I just need to set the stage a little bit here with this collage. So after seeing this for the hundredth time in the last three months, I finally just said, Holy shit, you pathetic, sensitive, soy little worm. I made fun of you for watching your girlfriend get fucked by numerous other men and also insulted you for defending child porn. That's not cancellation. That's just spitting on you for being a pitiful, sad cuck. Damn. And this puppy really blew up on Twitter in a big way. Oh yeah, 25 million. I will say it again. Damn. What I did and what I am doing right now is not canceling you, Sneeko. I am insulting you. I am making fun of you. Something that you were Call him a pussy. A proponent of. Sorry. Right? Wasn't like not one really. of your big things like bullying needs to be brought back. So now that I'm making fun of you, what all of a sudden now it's now it's off limits, now it's canceling. You have become the SJWs that you criticize so much. I don't know how you don't realize that. We continue. He says, you know in your soul you would never say that to my face. To which I respond, you literally have a collage of people that hurt your feelings on the internet. You haven't stopped whining about me for months now, you goofy NPC. Even if you beat my ass in a fight, it doesn't change the truth. You're still a cuck who also defends child porn. Bang. I think this is that important part. to talk about. And I just talked about it recently. When you are getting your feelings hurt and your immediate response isn't to fire back with insults, jokes, whatever. It's to challenge someone to a fight. You've taken a huge L. You've shown that the person has got under your skin, and the only thing you can resort to is a caveman brain of, I'll beat you in a fight. Sneeko, you beating me in a fight doesn't unfuck your girlfriend from the numerous men that had sex with her in front of you. It doesn't do anything. Everything I've said still stands. Nothing changes. It doesn't even salvage your ego. All it is is a pathetic fucking attempt at attention. And I don't think you believe half the things you talk about. I really think Sneeko just panders as much as possible. He himself doesn't even stand by the things he talks about. I really don't think he has any beliefs of his own. He just echoes what he thinks is going to get him the biggest audience slash the most money. That's what I think. So this puffing out his chest of challenging me to a fight is clearly attention. That's what it feels like. Because you don't have the same energy for Brandon Buckingham. Brandon Buckingham is more than willing to fight you any day of the week. Yeah. But with him, you don't want to do that for some reason. Why? Do you not stand by your beliefs when it comes to Brandon Buckingham? He has said all the same things about you that I am saying about you. So why is he exempt? Hmm? Why does he want to fight him? Pussy. That's so weird. This is what you said about Brandon Buckingham Sorry. and fighting him. And then finally, when Brandon Buckingham is down to meet Sneeko, he's there to box him. They're both similar sizes. Sneeko would now rather just sit at home and tell jokes behind his computer. I'd rather, just, just I'd rather sit at home and yell at a camera, tell jokes than, you know, risk my manhood falling flat for Brandon, Brandon Buckingham, you know, if I lose the fight. So now it's suddenly cool to just stay at home and keep it all online. <laughs> We're in the pause right there because he snitched him, so, right? I was about to say, let's play a game, but... Yo, if you say I'm not going to risk my manhood in a fight, I need you to understand one thing. You don't have one. You don't have one. If you barked up the tree and now smoke is coming out the fucking woods, right? And you're heading for the hills. Don't come back to me saying you got balls. Don't do that. The full video here from Don't Willie Mac is an absolute masterpiece on laying out every pathetic thing that Sneeko has ever done, said, or everything ever. So I highly recommend checking it out. I'll put a link to it in the description. It's a banger. So as you can see, I the people Charlie, he's confident bro. in fighting are ones that he feels confident he'd win against. I'm five That's foot six. I think shit. he's six foot one. So the height advantage he feels very confident with. You're what? Confident he'd win against. I'm five foot six. I think Damn. he's six foot one. No. So the hey, Sneeko, if you want to fight, with. and he What's has up, every reason boy? to, he would probably beat me. I know I ain't got no channel like on this shit, but I can make anything. one off your dumb ass. Everything I've said is still true. You are a cuck, self-admitted, and you have defended cuties publicly. Which, by more than just me, it, that's me, disgusting, dude. Porn. Like, you deserve so, to be fought to just for that. Any of those facts. Let me calm I've also down. I've been super vocal about how I don't want to fight. 
like I, I'm not afraid to say like I don't want to get hit in the head right like I'm afraid of <laughs> taking headshots it's probably a super normal fear to have so I'm averse to going into a boxing match especially one that's just a clout driven spectacle like this that'd be completely fucking worthless and I've been super open about that, which I'm sure you know since you keep saying that you've watched my content. So you probably know that I was never going to accept the fight in the first place. Especially Indeed. since you're like significantly taller than me. Yeah, right? dude. Like it does, it does, it wouldn't make any sense. He's not that much even bigger though. though Sneeko's fight, skinny. You're certainly not beating me in like an aesthetic physique competition because goddamn, I blow your ass out of the water. <laughs> Look at this fucking anime character. For now, this is way better than I thought Charlie had under his shirt, all right? That makes me want to go to the gym, all right? But my guy, like, Jesus, where is, he? like, do you not like the sun? Does it go away when it sees you? Like, like, what is going on here? But, physique, phenomenal I'm physique. Meanwhile, you're over here with that Abercrombie and Fitch from 1998. Now, uh, in Sneeko's credit, he did start going to the gym recently. Maybe I inspired him. And you know what? That's great. I'm glad I could have a positive impact on your he life. Like Nico. Getting into the gym is a fantastic thing. And you're going to feel so much better. And I know you'll start seeing Amen. results soon as long as you keep at it. Amen. And then finally, our last exchange goes very similarly to the others. You're not special from the other 10 soy boys who say the same thing. If you got a problem, stop talking on the internet. Let's solve it. So Sorry I said, that. got your Discord still working on responses? Brother, I have no problem. You started it and I made fun of you in return. You're upset about publicly admitting to cuckoldry and get mad at me for bringing it up. You should be mad at yourself instead. Have some self-reflection. Which it's true. I don't have a problem. You literally started it, Sneeko. And you even asked your audience to Had let to me down. know everything you said and send me your clips. You actually asked for a response. And then got super upset when my response was a little too mean to your feelings. How is that not the ultimate cuckoldry? <laughs> like, even yeah. more so than your girl getting clapped by a thousand men. How? Like, how can you, with a straight face, still call other people soy boys? I'm not kidding, I really didn't want to keep talking about you, but you won't stop talking and crying about me. It's sad. I understand you have a humiliation fetish, so hopefully this whole thing has helped you orgasm one more time from all of it. I, I, I don't think it's fun dunking on you, Sneeko. I don't. I'm gonna let this be known. Five, six... Looks weak as shit. Probably can't bench 225. I I want no beef with this man. He will shred me apart on the internet as if it was his job. He is Shredder. He is Grandmaster Shredder. Right? I want no beef with Charlie, boy. And I'm certainly not canceling <clears throat> you, but you keep doing this. So you no forced beef. my hand to make fun of you again. Damn. But anyway... Uh, that that's about it see ya wow first of all charlie that was great that was great thank you for making me laugh thank you for making my day fucking awesome awesome well i mean it looks kind of like you know what time it is well it's almost time let me say my last little piece bro don't run from smoke all right now you know what time it is it's time for you to hit the naughty bill Get to know me well. Ain't nothing left to say. Everybody have a blessed day. I love y'all.